Hi everybody, this is Hunter the Hunter Mackinnon, and welcome to Video Game Trivia. This time on Video Game Trivia, we're taking a look at the names of popular video game characters, video game systems, and companies from all across the history of video games. Now, if you've watched the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, you probably already know the origins of Namco's lovable mascot, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, whose name is written as Pakuman in Japanese, originates from the sound Paku Paku that the character makes while eating pills and ghosts. Originally, Namco was going to localize the character's name as Puckman, but concerned that the arcade cabinets could be easily vandalized into saying something else, decided to go with an alternate translation of the name, Pac-Man. Nintendo's lovable mascot Mario, of course, debuted in the 1981 arcade game Donkey Kong, but originally he was just called Jumpman. The name Mario originated as an internal joke at Nintendo of America, where the landlord of their offices, Mario Singali, was known to bear a likeness to the character, and this eventually became the character's real name. Jumpman is also the name of another platformer character by the computer game company Epix. Before she was known as Peach, the Princess of the Mushroom Kingdom had been for a long time called Princess Toadstool. The name Peach was first used outside Japan in the game Yoshi Safari, but it became only widely used thanks to Super Mario 64. So why Toadstool and not Peach? Probably because Nintendo didn't want to confuse kids as to why a princess named after a fruit was controlling a Mushroom Kingdom. You may be also surprised to know that Bowser is not the name of Mario's adversary in Japan. In Japan, he has always been known simply as Koopa. This also explains why he was called that in the live-action Super Mario Bros. movie. As for why Bowser, Again, it was probably because Nintendo wanted to create some kind of a difference between King Koopa and the Koopa Troopas because the names sounded so similar. However, observant Mario fans for a long time have known that one of Koopa's seven children, the Koopalings, is called Morton Koopa Jr. So at one point it seems like Nintendo almost gave Bowser a different first name in Japan, but that idea, of course, was later dashed with Bowser Jr. Mega Man is called Rockman in Japan. The name, of course, originally comes from simply adding the word man to Mega Man's original name, Rock, which is the same in all regions. The reason Capcom ended up changing the name because they couldn't copyright the name Rockman when the game was originally localized in 1987. Zelda, the Princess of Hyrule, and the star of her own eponymous series, was named after Zelda Fitzgerald, the wife of F. Scott Fitzgerald, and also a notable writer in her own right. However, The Legend of Zelda was originally the subtitle of the first Zelda game, which was called the Hyrule Fantasy, but the Hyrule Fantasy part was dropped in later sequels. The comedian and actor Robin Williams was actually such a huge fan of Zelda that he ended up naming his first daughter after the character. Trevor Belmont, Simon's great-granduncle from Castlevania III Dracula's Curse, is definitely one of the lesser-known Belmonts. He's also the only Belmont with a region-specific name. In Japan, he's known as Ralph. Terra, Sabin, and Cyan, or Tina, Makaias, and Kayan, are just three examples of characters from Final Fantasy VI who had their names changed for unspecified reasons when the game was localized. If you're a big Pokemon fan, you may know the character of Ash Ketchum from the anime series based on the video game, but in Japan, the character is called Satoshi. However, if you want to get really technical, the first Pokemon trainer from the very first Pokemon game is actually called Red. And the hero of Wolfenstein 3D, William B.J. Blazkowicz. Next, let's talk about the alternate names of games and systems. Now, it may not surprise you that much why Konami wanted to rename Akumajo Dracula into Castlevania, since evil demon Castle Dracula would have sounded kind of out of place on a system intended for young audiences. However, you may have also heard of the Japanese Castlevania game being called by the title Vampire Killer. This title, which appears sporadically on different platforms, originates with the MSX computer game by the same name, released in 1986, the same time as the original Japanese version of the NES game. Now, I released two games that were practically the same with different titles. I believe this was because Konami was hedging their bets. They wanted to see which version of the game sold better so that they would continue releasing the games under that particular name. And, and of course, because Nintendo still had that three-year exclusivity clause in their licensing contract. And which is also why probably Haunted Castle, the only Castlevania arcade, needed to have a different title when it was released. 
And rather surprisingly, it was the NES version that sold much better, which I stress has not always been the case. It's very rare for a piece of hardware to be renamed specifically for the North American region, but this is what happened with the Sega Mega Drive. If you lived in Europe or Japan, that's the name you knew it by. In North America, it was released under the title Sega Genesis because Sega couldn't copyright the name Mega Drive. The Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES, of course was originally called Famicom in Japan. Famicom coming from the words Family Computer. The name was of course changed when Nintendo couldn't convince American retailers to carry the console in their stores. Because the Famicom's follow-up was simply known as the Super Famicom, for these obvious reasons, the system was called the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in Western regions. Or if you were like me, you called it just the Super Nintendo to set it apart from the regular Nintendo. One of the more amusing name debates to have gone down in Wikipedia in recent years is over one of the Wario Land games. In Japan, it's called Wario Land Shake. In North America, it's called Wario Land Shake It. And in Europe, it's called Wario Land The Shake Dimension. Now, you'll be hard pressed to find some old school Contra fans in Europe, because these games were never released under the title Contra over here. It seems that German censors went a little crazy when they found out that a system that was intended for children had a game where people were shooting at other people. As a result, all the characters were turned into robots, and the series was released under the title Probotector. The first non censored Contra game wasn't released until the PlayStation arrived. In a similar fashion, UK censors decided to change the title of Ninja Gaiden to Shadow Warrior because they felt that the word ninja was too violent for small children. We also have the Brits to thank for the creation of the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, which I admit confused me as a child. Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3, or as they are now known, 1, 4, and 6. Yes, Square released three Final Fantasy games for the original Famicom, but only the first one was ever localized. This was because Square was still a small company, and localizing RPGs that had a lot of text in them did happen to take a lot of time. So the next Final Fantasy that reached Western audiences was the fourth game, which Nintendo renamed to Final Fantasy II in order to avoid confusion. Final Fantasy V slipped the system again, and Final Fantasy VI was of course released under the title Final Fantasy III. When Square jumped the boat to Sony's PlayStation system, Sony did not continue with the naming tradition and instead released Final Fantasy VII with an unaltered title, but fans didn't seem to care that much. Let's next take a look at some acronyms and name origins. The Nintendo GameCube's acronym is GCN and not NGC, which you would think would be the more logical one. The reason for the bizarre acronym, of course, is because the system was contemporary with the handheld system Neo Geo Color, which you may have never heard of. To avoid confusion, most gaming press decided to adopt this particular acronym. During its early days, the Sony PlayStation was actually not commonly abbreviated as PS1, but as PSX. The reason for this is actually that the system was going to be called Sony PlayStation X. And following this, the gaming press kept using the PSX acronym for a long time. And I stress, even after the system was released without X in the title. PS1 originally referred to a more slim version of the original PlayStation, but as the PS2 started to become more prevalent, it's easy to see why the PS1 acronym eventually won out. Projects Reality, Dolphin, Revolution, and Cafe, or as you now know them as the N64, GameCube, Wii, and Wii U. Yes, Nintendo seems to have a lot of creativity coming up with working titles. Before becoming the Sega Saturn, Sega's 32-bit system was originally going to be called the Sega Jupiter, obviously because the Sega 32X was originally supposed to be called Sega Mars. But when Mars was abandoned as a standalone system and just became the 32X add-on for the Sega Mega Drive, Sega changed the name to Saturn. Wolfenstein 3D, of course, was a monumental game in the FPS genre, but you might be surprised to find out that it actually stole its name from a much older game. Wolfenstein was an early 80s computer game with a very similar concept to Wolfenstein 3D and a childhood favorite of John Romero, which is where he openly stole the concept for the game. Many people forget that Duke Nukem 3D is actually kind of a pun of a name. Yes, the title obviously refers to the fact that it was the first 3D Duke Nukem game. Many people, however, also forget that it was the third installment of the series, which is why the 3 was just as important as the D. I could make an entire episode about Capcom's name changes, but here are just a few of the character and game name changes that they have done over the years. Mega Man 7 had quite a few of these. The green robot known as Otto was originally called Rytod or Lytod. Depending on how you westernize the original name, a portmanteau of the words Dr. Light and Robot. Bass and Treble were originally called Forte and Gospel. No official reason has been given why these characters' names were changed, but if I had to hazard a guess this being Nintendo, they obviously were afraid of the religious overtones with the word Gospel. Balrock, Vega, and Bison had their names circled around from their western release because Capcom wanted to avoid a lawsuit from Mike Tyson. 
and also because Capcom's US division didn't think Vega was a very good name for a final boss. Crashman and Clashman are both technically correct. Crashman is what the character debuted as in the original NES title Mega Man 2. In the Game Boy version, however, his name was romanized as Clashman, this due to the fact that R and L are the same letter in Japanese. Personally, I prefer Crashman. The groundbreaking survival horror series Resident Evil is known as Biohazard in Japan. And the original Street Fighter, which preceded Street Fighter 2 that everyone else knows, was called Fighting Street in its only console port on the TurboGrafx CD. And finally, at the end, let's talk about some video game company name origins. Capcom, which was originally a subdiary of an electronics company, is short for a capsule computer. Konami, which was founded in the 1970s as a jukebox repair company, gets its name from the initials of the last names of its four founding members. Microsoft's name, of course, is a portmanteau of microcomputer and software. Microcomputers, which had microchips in them, of course, are what ushered in the home computer industry. But did you know that Microsoft was originally written with a dash? Nintendo's name is actually an expression roughly meaning leave luck to heaven. Sega, which was founded in the 1950s in Hawaii, was a company that originally produced entertainment equipment for American soldiers stationed there, which is also where the company gets its name, Sega being the acronym for service games. Sony, who produces the PlayStation console, was originally called the Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering Corporation, or in Japanese, Tokyo Tsushin Kogyo. They got their start, unsurprisingly, as a producer of cassette recorders. When the company was looking to expand itself into North America, they were thinking about using the company's initials as their brand name, TTK. However, the Tokyo Metro Service's commonly known acronym TKK sounded distractingly similar, which is why the company decided to create a completely new brand name, Sony, which you might be surprised is actually a portmanteau itself. A combination of the words Sonus, which is Latin for sound, and Sonny, a common English word referring to a strapping young lad. The late LucasArts company of, was originally called LucasFilm Games, being a subdiary of LucasFilm's company founded by Star Wars creators George Lucas. The company finally officially changed its names to the LucasArts Entertainment Company in 1992. The title LucasArts was somewhat ironic, because when LucasArts started to finally release their iconic adventure games, starting with Maniac Mansion in 1988, they were turned down by Electronic Arts who thought that the game would never sell, leading LucasFilm Games to publish the game themselves. Another former giant of the adventure game scene, Sierra Online was originally called Online Games and was founded by Ken and Roberta Williams. The company eventually changed its name to Sierra Online, named after the Sierra Valley where the company was located. Square Enix was of course formed out of the combination of Square and Enix, the companies that single-handedly created JRPGs. Enix proving the concept popular with Dragon Quest, also known as Dragon Warrior, and Square closely imitating them with their first Final Fantasy game. Owing largely to Square's financial troubles and the rising cost of making video games that the companies combined their forces in the early 2000s. Finally, Atari, although an American game company, gets its name from the Japanese game Go. Atari referring to the act of claiming pieces in said game. Thanks for listening, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Honda the Honda Mackinen, see you on the next one.